Hey Leos, welcome to your June 2018 general reading. This is going to be for the zodiac sign of Leo, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Um, so if you feel like this doesn't resonate with you, then definitely check what's going on with my shovels. Always doing bad when I'm on camera. So you're going to see what's going on with you in general for the month of June. But like I was saying, if you feel like the messages don't resonate, you can check your sun, moon, and rising sign to see if that resonates better for you, okay? So, so far, while I was pre-shuffling and meditating over the cards, I was seeing this card a lot, the four of pentacles, uh, the emperor, the six of pentacles, ace of pentacles, that's been coming out for a lot of the zodiac signs for the month of June. So I feel like you guys are very focused on your coin, very focused on uh, bringing balance into your life. So you want fairness. Um, you want to, um, you want something that's going to be a little bit more rewarding, something that's going to have equal give and take. Um, I feel like you guys are looking for better opportunities, new opportunities, could be at work, could be in relationships as well. But we'll see what comes out in your reading. And like I was saying, the majority of signs we're getting um, Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Wands. So we'll see if you guys get that in your reading as well. Okay, so I'm going to shuffle the cards and I'll fast forward during this part and then we'll put the cards out and go through them together, okay? devil came out so a lot of you guys are trying to release like i'm saying toxic things toxic situations releasing um things that you feel trapped or, or bonded to you want to release any restrictions and move forward with some kind of new beginning so a lot of leos want new beginnings there you guys go there goes your energy you're ready to start something new you're very passionate um you're adventurous you're feeling open for travel as well um i feel like you guys are putting a lot of action behind the things that you want and the things that you want to manifest during this time. All right, Leo, so let's see what's going to be going on for you guys in June. There you go. What I told you, you guys are definitely manifesting. Um, you're wanting to create right now. Like I was saying, you have already thought about what it is that you want and now you're trying to manifest it into reality. Now you're trying to create some sort of new beginning, whether that be in work or in your life, in your relationship. You're trying to manifest something very strongly in the month of June. But you have King of Swords here. This could be someone who's getting in your way. This could be an air sign, Gemini, Gemini Libra, Aquarius. Or this could just be... Um, Blocks in communication, blocks in getting the answers that you need. Um, also, truth. We'll clarify and see if this is a person or that's just the energy that is challenging you in the month of June. You have judgment here. So you could have made a decision in the past already. And now you're deciding to move forward, manifest something new. This was a life-changing decision, something that's going to be, you know, very big. It's not a small change, especially since you have Major Arcana here, a magician. You're manifesting something big during the month of June. Definitely getting over disappointments, getting over people, manifesting new starts. Let's put all the cards out. Three of Cups, Four of Swords, Overall Energies, the Hermit in Reverse. So you're coming out of your shell. I feel like you guys were in a mode of recovery for a while. Um, you could have been a little bit antisocial. You could have been stuck for a while, not really knowing what you wanted to do. Maybe focusing on the things that were going negative in your life instead of seeing the positive. But I see that changing. There's going to be a major transformation in your energy. You're going to come out of this period of contemplation, this period of soul searching um i feel like leos were spending a lot of time by themselves really trying to figure out what it is that they want for their future and what they're trying to create going forward so you guys in your subconscious you're very focused on those those three cups okay three of cups is what's on your mind right now or what's on your subconscious actually so you're very focused on turning around situations that didn't go well in the past. I feel like you want to get out of energy of disappointment and you do in your near future. 
because you're trying to manifest a new beginning. You're trying to manifest new energy. Um, you just want to change what's going on currently in your life. And you're making big changes right now. Presently, you're making big changes. Because you're not happy. This is your immediate environment with the Nine of Cups. You may not be happy with what's going on presently. So I feel like you guys are trying to, like I'm saying, take control of your life. Take control of the things that you're unhappy with and really change it for the better. Or manifest what it is that you want that's going to make you happy again. Your overall outcome is the hair fit. So you're going to either be leveling up on a spiritual level. I feel like you guys are going to gain a lot of wisdom, gain a lot of knowledge. Um, or, you know, during the time that you guys were in hermit mode, you were seeking some sort of spiritual guidance, spiritual knowledge, um, seeking advice. So I feel like for some of you, this could talk about, again, bringing the balance back coming together with someone or some type of commitment or committing to a new way of life or a new way of going about something. But we'll, we'll clarify this one. Bottom of your deck, you have the Queen of Swords. So you got the King and the Queen here. So this could definitely be an air sign person that you're dealing with or this is just, <laughs> this is just having to do with communication or being very clear about the direction that you're heading in going forward and what you're trying to manifest again two cards of being unstuck so you're you were stuck for a while not knowing what you wanted to do you were contemplating thinking about it a lot and now you are ready to manifest something now you're ready to move forward and create the future that you want or the results that you want you don't want to be stuck especially in this energy of morning feeling sad thinking about things that didn't turn out well or not the way you expected them to so you're coming out of that energy again with the threes so some of you guys could be dealing with like third party situations multiple people family members um if you're trying to come together with someone or have some sort of deeper commitment in the month of june i see that happening with the hair fin here But then, then there's this energy of like dissatisfaction. So I feel like, like I was saying before, a lot of Leos are dissatisfied or were dissatisfied in the past and now they're doing something about it. So you guys are definitely taking action. Now that I say that with the King of Wands, you're taking action. All right, so now what I want to do is I'm going to clarify with the smaller mini tarot deck and I want to see what this magician energy is talking about here in the present situation for Leo. So what is... That was quick. <laughs> that was quick. So you guys are trying to manifest results, pretty much. Um, I feel like you've been contemplating about something for a while. And you were trying to make changes. I feel like you were contemplating because you were unhappy with the situation you were in. And you knew that you had to make some kind of decision, a big decision, a final decision. You could have been hesitant about it or taking your time really thinking staying to yourself contemplating a lot but i feel like now you're ready to manifest results or manifest changes or you want to manifest something like i'm saying into the physical world because we have the pentacles here what else is this magician representing in the present energy for leo what is the magician representing the Nine of Wands. This came out as well when I was meditating. I feel like you guys are letting down your guard. It came out in reverse. So this could be talking about coming out of a state of paranoia, coming out of um, feeling very hesitant about moving forward. I feel like now you are ready to manifest what it is that you want. You're ready to go for what you want. Or you're trying to manifest results from a situation that you've already put a lot of work into, I feel like, in the past. These are two cards about putting a lot of effort and waiting for results or waiting for um, some type of completion. One more. 
Ten of Cups. Okay, this could have to do with your happiness. You have Nine of Cups here in your immediate environment. So some of you guys are not happy in your environment. Okay, you want to manifest some sort of change or you're waiting for some kind of results or um, something to come in for you that has to do with your happiness, your fulfillment, your emotional fulfillment because currently you're not happy in your environment. You're not happy with what's happening. So you're trying to manifest happiness pretty much you're trying to manifest success results wealth could be jobs let's get one more what else is leo trying to manifest with the magician what else is leo trying to manifest it's definitely going to be different for different people king of cups so you could be trying to manifest someone in your life or you're just trying to be more emotionally stable, emotionally happy. I feel like this has to do a lot with your emotions, with all these cup cards here. You have a ton of cup cards, right? Three of cups, five of cups. I feel like you guys want to be more emotionally stable and happy and come out of having your guard up or feeling... Um, Like you've been through a lot, like you're, you're, you know, you want to move on from the nine to the ten. You want to go from feeling like you've been putting up a lot of fights and battles and struggling a lot to finally being happy, finally seeing, you know, your happiness, your ships come in, the fruits of your labor. You want to manifest big change. So let's see why the King of Swords is here in your challenge. Why is the King of Swords here in the challenge for Leo? Why is the King of Swords here in the challenge for Leo? Why is the King of Swords here in the challenge for Leo? Okay. The Eight of Cups. So you could have to walk away from someone. You could have to walk away from this person. So I feel like a lot of you guys are leaving a situation. You've made a decision to walk away from someone. Or someone's having a hard time walking away from you, it could be. But this is what your challenge is. It's about moving forward, leaving something behind. This could also be someone who's left your life. For some Leo, someone who left your life and you're trying to manifest them back. It could be a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You're trying to manifest this person back. And I feel like there could be some kind of reunion happening towards the end of the month. You may come out of the cold with this person as well, but I feel like their challenge or what's challenging you is that someone walked away or you had to walk away from someone. What else about the King of Swords? Yeah, you see? This is someone you were in a partnership with. This could be someone you broke up with, someone you're intending to break up with. Because I feel like you guys are not happy and you want to, some of you want to fix the relationship, others of you want to move on. But I feel like the majority of you guys want to fix it. But this could be just talking about someone who you were close with. There's a person who's a challenge to you. This could have been someone who, who left your life. This doesn't have to be an ex. Or someone you're in a relationship, it could be a family member, but I feel like someone left your life and that's what's challenging you in the month of June. But you do get over it. You do move on. Let's see, why is the Five of Cups here in reverse? Yeah, you see? You guys move on. This is definitely your energy, fire, Knight of Wands. You guys move out of feeling disappointed, feeling hurt. So a lot of you, like I'm saying, you guys are walking, you're, you're the ones walking away or someone walked away from you, but I feel like more you guys walked away because you're moving forward very passionately. You're tired of being unhappy. There goes your Ace of Pentacles. You're tired of being unhappy. You're tired of um, where you are now currently because you're not satisfied with what's happening now. So you're ready to manifest a new beginning and be happy. Something that's going to make you happy. Your overall energy is Hermit in reverse. Why is Leo the Hermit in reverse in the month of June? 
surprise you. Justice. So you guys have done all the soul searching you have. I feel like you guys feel justified in the decision that you've made. And you feel justified in um, the direction that you're going in, what you're trying to manifest. You feel like um, you're on the right track or you're doing the right thing. This is what's best for you. After a long period of contemplation and you know soul searching, you feel like you've come up with the answer that or you were able to find the answer that you needed after a period of, like I'm saying, keeping to yourself, really searching with, for the answers within, listening to your gut, your spirit, guides. You feel justified now and you feel like you have the right answer or what you want to do. You feel happy about what it is that you want to do or manifest. Let's see what's making you unhappy in your environment. Why is the Nine of Cups here for Leo in their environment? Knight of Pentacles. So this could be talking about the progress. Slow progress in your environment. Things moving slowly. Or you wanting to move out of this energy. I feel like you guys want to move very quickly. But the, the energy around you currently is very slow. Slow progress. Or you're unhappy with... If you're waiting for someone to come back in, I feel like... They will come back in, but you're unhappy with the progress or how, how long it's taking. You feel like it's too slow for you. Or if you're not waiting for someone, this just has to do with movement, direction, the speed of how things are going right now in your life. You're not happy with it in your environment. One more for the environment, for Leo. Nine of Cups in reverse. Page of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like you guys want to start brand new. You're not happy with what you're doing currently. You want a brand new start. That's why you're trying to manifest here with the Magician. You're ready to move out of this energy that you're in. This is going to be a, a time for you in June where you guys are coming out of, not depression, but, you know, just contemplation really keeping to yourself, thinking a lot. You're done with that phase. You're ready to take action now. You're ready to move forward in a new direction because you feel like that it's what's best for you. Your overall outcome is the Hierophant. Why is the Hierophant the overall outcome for Leo? In the month of June. There you go, Eight of Wands. So you guys are definitely making movement. You could be getting communication from someone. Could be a Taurus. So there's a lot of pentacles here, so a lot of earth energy. You could be hearing from a Taurus. Or this is just you making big moves in the outcome. You're moving away from something that wasn't working, and you're moving towards something that's a little bit more stable, more traditional, more in line with what it is that you want to do. What else about the hair fit? What else can I say about the hair fit for the overall outcome for Leo? There you go, Ten of Pentacles. Do you guys have three tens here? No. Ten of Pentacles. So, like I'm saying, you guys are moving to a level of stability. You're moving towards something that's very promising. Um, something that's going to be very successful. Alright, so like I was saying, with this Ten of Pentacles, a lot of you, a lot of Leos are moving towards a commitment as well. So you could have somebody coming back in, someone who left in the past, someone you were in the outs with, I feel like they could be coming back or you could be coming back into their life. Um, if that's the case, a lot of you guys are going to be moving towards a higher level of commitment. You could be moving in. Things could start to pick up really quickly in the relationship and get serious very fast for some of you Leos. Um, a lot of you are manifesting things that make you happy, relationships. You have two cards here about happy homes, relationships, having the complete package. So if it's not a relationship that you're trying to manifest, and you will be towards the end of the month for sure, you're just going to be, your ideas I feel like are going to start to come together again. You're going to really start going for this Ten of Pentacles, going for this ultimate goal, going for what it is that you want to achieve. Or you may get some sort of opportunity to join um, like a big company, an organization, 
something that you may have to travel for, but it's going to offer a lot of stability, a lot of money, a lot of what it is that you want. All right, so let's do a little mini love reading. I'm going to use the Romance Angels, and we'll see in general what is going on or what messages the Romance Angels have for Leo in the month of June 2018 for singles and those who are in relationships. So let's see what's going on for Leo in the month of June. What messages you have for single Leos in the month of June 2018? What messages? Everyone's getting this card. Flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. So this could be telling you to put yourself out there more. I feel like you will be doing that if you're getting out of a relationship. Um, you may just be more focused on your money, your goals, and travel, to be honest, than you are in a relationship. But this could be telling you to just keep an open mind, keep um, that lighthearted energy about you, because you never know who you could meet or what opportunities could be coming towards you. Right, with this Eight of Wands when it comes to love. So keep that lighthearted energy. I see you doing that already where you're letting go of a lot of baggage and things from the past that have brought you down. So whether that be in relationships or just in general, um, the message is to just keep being lighthearted, keep flirting because something could be coming in for you in this month. Let's get one more for single. Okay. Yeah, let go of control issues. So again, to loosen up a little bit, it says allow the situation to unfold naturally. So if you're dealing with someone who walks out of your life or you walked out of theirs and now you really want to come together, um, I feel like it's going to happen already. The energy is already there where it's moving towards some kind of reconciliation or coming together. So try to let go of control issues. Try not to stress too much about it. I don't see you doing that anyway, so... I feel like you guys could be manifesting something big in the month of June. A lot of it could be commitment or commitment to um, like a job or an opportunity that's going to bring a lot of money to you as well. All right. What's going on for Leos in relationships? What's the message for Leos who are in relationships? Forgiving and learning. Sorry, guys. My camera keeps cutting off. So it says, as you release and heal the heal the past you experience more love in the present so i do see a lot of that energy here where there is someone who could be coming th through for you or you are deciding to move on from things that have happened in the past and really forgive this person um forgive your partner forgive an ex whoever the case may be um this is going to be a month about forgiveness, a month about letting go, moving forward. Some of you may want to work on the relationship more. You may be seeking some kind of counseling too when it comes to your relationship. Or um, you're just going to forgive your partner and move forward, move on to something that's more fulfilling for you. So different Leos are going to be experiencing different things during the month of June. But overall, it's going to be a month of forgiving, a month of letting go of a lot a month of moving forward, following your heart, manifesting. So all good things, all positive things in the month of June. And last, we're going to do Wisdom from the Golden Path. This is just going to be general, general advice for Leos for the month of June. So what's the general advice for Leos in the month of June? What does the universe spirit want leos to know in the month of june what's the messages that you have for leo in the month of june let's see what messages do you have for leo in the month of june 2018 what do you want leo to know too many cards it's all good fortune though <laughs> what do you want leo to know in the month of june get a card to pop out what was that okay you have self-worth yeah i feel like a lot of you guys are starting to gain like i was saying before starting to realize your self-worth you're starting to go for what it is that makes you happy manifest what you truly desire but we'll read from the book because i really like the book we'll see what the book has to say about self-worth okay 
So this is your message from universe. It says, you have a habit of undervaluing your talents and capabilities. This is due to a general sense of low self-worth. And yet there is so much that is wonderful about you. Many around you can see this, but somehow you don't. It is time to dissolve the distorted view you have of yourself. Time to see your unique beauty and appreciate and value the real you. Sorry guys, I had to skip this whole paragraph because it was just too long. So pretty much, <laughs> I'm just going to shorten it for you. Pretty much what it's saying is, I feel like a lot of you have already realized your self-worth, okay? You're realizing that you're not happy in your environment right now. You're starting to, to realize that there's other things that you value, other things that you want to pursue, maybe things at a distance that you want to pursue, or you're just moving in another direction. You've made a decision already to manifest some sort of new beginning. So I feel like you guys are definitely knowing your self-worth. Um, you've, you've, you've taken that time, like I was saying it with that hermit mode, you took that time to really stay to yourself and um, try to figure out what it is that you want. It's been a time of what does Leo want? What does Leo want to do? But I'm happy to see that you guys are actually taking action. You're moving forward. You're working with others and really trying to focus on your future and what makes you happy. You don't want to be in that energy you were in the past or feeling stuck or feeling unhappy. You're going to take action this month. So I feel like this is going to be a good month for you, Leo. So I hope that this reading was able to resonate with you. Um, if you want something more tailored to your specific situation and what you're going through, then you can purchase a private reading. The link will be below. And I hope you guys have a great June and I will see you for your next reading.